Hello, Robotics Mentor Mark here. Today I'm going to walk you through getting a LilyGo T Pico C3 display working with MicroPython under Linux. Windows and Mac should be similar. So, first thing, these boards have an orientation for the USB. Only one side connects to the Pico 2040 where we're going to be running MicroPython. I've marked my USB cable with an arrow on one side. When we flip it over, we can see that the blue light is lit. If I had it backwards, the green light would be lit. Now I'm going to unplug the board and put it in boot mode. Boot mode allows us to update the firmware. Press and hold the boot button and plug it back in. Looking at our file browser, we see an RPI PR2 drive show up. Link in the description below for the firmware file we're going to use. Drag that file onto the drive. It will copy and then automatically reboot. This will take a few seconds, then open up the Thani IDE and see the board. You may need to go under Run Select Interpreter to connect if it doesn't automatically. Under the shell window, we can see that it booted MicroPython 1.18-128. We'll need some more files from the Russ Hughes GitHub repo for ST7789. Link to that repo in the description below. I cloned the whole repo, but we'll only need three files from it. Next, we open the file browser under View Files. We want to find the tftconfig.py from the repo that we downloaded upload that file and open it to edit it. Here we need to change the phase from 0 to 1. Save the file. Next, go into the example file, the example folder from the repo and download the hello.py file onto the board. Looking at our code, we also need a font file. It needs the bitmap font file VGA1 bold 16 by 32. Now with all three files on there, we can run the program. If your board does not display anything after a minute, press the reset button on the side of the board. Hope this gets you rolling. Leave a comment if this helped. I'll post more videos as I do more with this board, so feel free to subscribe or check back later.